Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So I have been posting some more videos consistently recently, just um, had some conversations, figured it was a good thing to do long term. So um, let me know your thoughts about the format. What I really want to focus on is just getting videos out, not necessarily looking at, it's not like I'm ignoring the quality or anything like that, but just uh, making sure that getting a video out is the most important thing. So let me know what your thoughts is about the video format, things I should adjust, things I should change. Definitely interested in feedback right now, so feel free to do that. But today we're going to be talking about the Battlegrounds changes. They just came out, and I do think they're pretty interesting. I've skimmed through a little bit. I haven't really fully um, digested it yet, so we'll see how that goes. I'm going to be focused right now on being like duos content. So we're beginning looking at all the changes, but prefer primarily from a duo focus lens. So keep that in mind. But without further ado, let's get started. So first off, we have their comments. Hope you're enjoying the new trinkets and souls and duos. Since the matter is still new, we focus on changes primarily on power outliers. So we'll be monitoring the game making further adjustments and as needed after the expansion launches. So probably have to wait. This is probably gonna be the last update until the expansion, which shouldn't be too long, but just a little warning sign there. So we'll see how that goes. First off is the goose portrait. I didn't understand why they made this one, especially with Goldenizer or also in the lobby. So it used to be after you summon the fragments, you get a Goldenizer, which is pretty stupid. Goldenizer is one of the best, um, you know, spells to have in the game, just making things go in super powerful. So being able to add that on a repeatable trigger action just seemed kind of unnecessary. So they did do, they did realize that they changed it now. Um, after you summon three fledglings, you get a lucky egg. Now I do think this is still like kind of problematic in duos. Lucky egg is actually very strong in duos because the amalgam jumping jack is in duos and if you make a golden amalgam you can immediately sell it to get a golden minion so um this is also quite strong in duos and solos i can see it not being as important or problematic but i, I definitely don't think they tested this uh before they made the change they just realized that the golden eyes is too problematic so they changed it to lucky egg but i think lucky egg in duos is also very problematic to be able to get like three or four copies per turn if you're fighting so uh not not in love with this change either uh, i i just think the portrait is weird like wh why does it do these things um so overall not a big fan it's probably going to be strong so in duos and solos i don't think it will be as important but in, in duos being able to hit golden jumping jump for instant triples uh is just kind of strong and also like imagine i do think like if nagas are in as well getting the warden to get two gold is also pretty decent so there's it was three gold because you can sell the warden as well so i do think there's like ways to abuse this in the right lobby so i'm not sure about this change i think it's better than before because goldenizer was too much of a problem this one is less of a problem even like random sixes aren't that crazy they're good but they're not like that crazy but it is still an issue in my opinion. So we'll see how it goes. Bleeding Art, Avenge seven, 6 to Avenge 7. Yeah, I mean, this one is really, really strong. So I can definitely understand the change to Avenge 7. You get you summon and get a random undead. So it's just a really powerful effect. Kind of reminds you of Lucky Tabby, the beast one, but you also get some triggers on top. And the thing about Trinket Avenges is that you always get them. That's that's the difference between like uh, minion avenges, where in trinket avenges, since they're independent on how the fight goes, you're always going to get your full value if you know you have 14 summons or 14 minions on the board. It's really 13 because you're going to get one from the minion itself, right? So if you have 13 triggers from undead, which is not like impossible, it is like you have to work towards it, but it's not impossible. You get two free minions, plus you get tempo. And especially if you're running like a, a buffing attack, this is just a really powerful one. And the random undeads can be like your key pieces. It can summon like more than one minion. So this can really like chain. And that's why Avenge 6 was so free because it chains off itself. There are, there are minions that summon four minions, you know, like, 
and having that just like set up half more than half of the avenge proc by itself with no downside if anything dies early is just like really really good so i still think this will probably be good it's definitely going to be worse and then deads aren't like the winning comp all the time so you have to be intentional with picking on deads and scaling on deads but i do think this is a pretty good trinket before and i don't think avenge 7 like changes too too much but it it does bring it down which is a good direction to take fishy sticker now gives you the fish of nazoth instead of summoning the fish of nazoth i wonder if this is for both of them the greater and the lesser i think this is probably probably a good thing uh just because it means you can build around the fish and not have to always have it in the back because there are some builds specifically goldrin builds where you want the fish early so that you can macaw it essentially so i do think this is probably a buff for a lot of setups another thing that matters is that you can now golden the fish you can now position the fish. You can still put it in the back if you really want to, but most of the time it's not better. Um, and you can now set up like combos, you know, like chain combos where things can work in, in, in tandem. So I do you think this is a buff to Fishy Sticker? Does Fishy Sticker need a buff? Maybe not, but it's not a, it's not a downside. It just, just gives you more options in my opinion. Another thing is that people could tech blaster you before where you're always getting the 2-2 two -two fish, so Blaster just kills every it every time. Now, you can buff your fish, so it doesn't might might not die to Blaster, so... Overall, this is a, to me, this is a big buff to Fishy Sticker, but I'm down for it. I think it's okay, so I'm not, like... Not mad at this change or anything. Uh, Bartendotron's All Can. So this used to be a hero, uh, but... Not anymore. So at the end of your turn, reduce the cost of upgrading your tavern by three, zero gold. So this one was a little bit slow. I didn't actually mind this one all too much, but its stats were really bad. And it's understandable. I think you need to have a higher skill level to utilize this type of trinket because it doesn't give you any immediate power. And it also relies on your understanding like what why leveling is strong and i think you take this it's a little slow and then if you don't like fully utilize that extra leveling the extra gold what's the point so for me this was a decent uh, trinket but i can understand the stats are bad and it's not consistently going to give you like make you stronger when you the game they changed it now to the turn you buy this you also get the trigger which is the most important change. So it goes from costing you three gold to costing you one, like negative one, like giving you a gold to turn you buy it. So that's a huge, like it, well, it, it doesn't cost you three gold, but you don't get the proc the first turn, right? So you, you essentially get, I guess you go from zero to negative one, right? It's now cheaper. And I think like this is the type of trinket my duo partner always takes. He loves paying zero for trinkets. He loves it. Like, so, and I'm just, you know, it's fine. You know, and, and we make it work. I make it work. But this, this seems like the type of trinket he's like, yes, this is all me every time. So I'm, I'm betting I'm going to be seeing this being picked a lot. And I, it's a good trinket if you know how to use it. And he definitely does. So I'm not too worried. But it is, it is a notable change. And I think it's better for players overall. So we'll see how this one goes. Fungal Mancer sticker going from zero to three gold. Fungal Mancer, I believe, is the one that is. Um, honestly, I'm not a hundred percent sure which one that is. I can actually look it up real quick. Fungal Mancer sticker. Oh, it's the one where you sell five, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's the one where it you become Fergal. This one's kind of bad. But apparently it's doing good enough that they're nerfing it, so that's a little bit of a surprise. I would not assume that this was strong enough to be nerfed, but I'm I'm down for it, I guess. I don't really so in duos at least oh this might be a solos thing. Yeah, in duos at least Murlocs aren't that consistent. Um just because there's more things to do and, and 
the other comps are usually stronger than Murlocs. Murlocs are good, but they usually require that tier 7 Murloc to really feel abusive. So, Fungal Master stickers, pretty decent. We've played a couple of times, but nothing to write home about. Nothing to be like, oh, this is a crazy trinket in duos. But in solos, I could definitely see it being consistent. You get a free hero. And imagine you're playing Fergal, and then you take this. Like, that's probably super dumb. Like, that's probably, like, actually quite dumb. Yeah, I could see that. So, there's definitely some lines there. And it was good enough to get nerfed, but in, for duos, I'm not too worried it doesn't really change my opinion of this hero or this trinket i wasn't picking it too much before yogtastic party so this is the yog trinket uh adjusted the average number of targets for rada roasting so it's more consistent so it means that you're not going to be off you're not as often going to get zero procs and it also means you're not as often going to get 10 plus procs as well i do think rod of roasting is too good and changes like your win percentages right you go from a zero percent win to like a hundred percent win almost every time it procs for me um but maybe making it more consistent is i i do wonder like um what it means by more consistent does it mean like it's just better all the time or does it mean like sometimes it's better sometimes it's worse than how it is currently that's so we don't actually have the full details. I do think lowering the downside is probably safer, but Rod of Roasting already is too good in my opinion. It, it already wins you games, wins you lobbies if it procs. So I don't know if it needs to be more consistent and better for you, but it's not really something like I would personally maybe a, like change the Rod of Roasting or lower the buff target like from or like have it like be a flat like all your minions get six six or you know or eight eight or something like that like just a flat buff compared to like oh sometimes your one minion gets 40 40 and like 200 minions get 20 20 and then the shop also has like a 20 20 in there as well like that kind of thing and it's just like you have just won the next four or five fights without doing anything you know i mean you paid for the trinket i guess but overall like it's probably a good thing, but we'll have to see since the numbers aren't mathematically there. Mystery Cube, Marine Sign Signet, which was very bad, has been removed from this pool, sure. Mystery Cube's fun, so I don't mind it. Marine Signet is pretty weak, so it's good to remove that from the pool. Orchestra Portrait, now some dual-specific changes. Orchestra Portrait, my teammate does not like this one. I don't mind this one. Apparently, it's statistically doing very well. And I think that makes a lot of sense because this is just flat scaling. And flat scaling is really powerful at lower levels. Like, it's just, it just wins lobbies at lower levels. And Orchestra Portrait is flat scaling that you can target on a particular minion. And Orchestra Portrait now works for both players. So if, even if you play it, it buffs both teammates next to Orchestra Portrait. So it's just generically good. So I can see that this was probably just being very consistent for players doing well. So they nerfed it, they made it cost two more gold. Two more gold is a decent amount. It's like a reasonable price to pay. So I, I do think three gold is probably too free because you're paying three gold for a minion, right? And it's a good minion if you're, if you're getting one every turn. So I do think making it more expensive makes a lot of sense. So especially with the changes. So yeah, I mean, I wasn't picking Orchestra Portrait too much, but that's more because Saf didn't like it, not because I think it's bad. So I'm fine with this change. I think it makes sense when you consider like how good flat scaling is. But you can definitely, if you have a game plan, it's there are better options. So don't be too too baited to always pick Orchestra Portrait unless you find it fun and then do it every time. I'm fine with that. Charm of Generosity. So this is another one that does not jump out to me as of what this one is. Uh, so I'll probably take a look and see what this is. So this one is after your teammates passes, give your minions plus two attack. This one, in my opinion, is bad. Like, this one I would say is flatly bad. 
at least for higher tier players, because two attack is is good tempo, but later on does nothing for you. So I would say this is the type of trinket you take if you're dying. Um, and you really don't have another option, and you have like divine shields on your board. So you, there's a lot of requirements. But if you are having a good game plan and you're planning on winning, I don't think this changes your your flow too much. Now, if you need to save health, yeah, I get it. You know, this is a, a catch. Every time you pass, you get to trigger a catch. This is pretty good. So if mechs are in the lobby, you know, you have the cyclone, things like that, this can do well. But generally, I don't really like this trinket. Its stats are decent, so there's that going for it. But from a, like, win... Like building a picking a trinket that can win you the lobby. This one I would say doesn't necessarily do that. It just helps you stabilize. So uh, it it's performing well enough to get a a nerf, but I wouldn't. I'm not impressed by the trinket generically. Next up we have bottle sticker. Yeah, bottle sticker is broken. Like part of the bottle is broken. So there's just enough enough. Um, tools or minions that can really abuse this you have the mirage conjurer you have the uh, three drop elemental that you can just portal every turn and just double the health or double the health in the tavern like it's just very very strong so i do think nerfing it makes sense i'm still kind of not sold on making portal a a four drop i still think that's kind of weird but we're currently living in this world, so I'm not really going to, um, not really going to worry too much there. All right, next up we have investment contracts. So this one's going from four gold to zero gold. Four gold to zero gold. You know it was bad. This was probably the worst trinket, uh, at least the worst new dual trinket added, because it it doesn't help you at all, right? You're paying four gold and you have to pass four times. To reduce the cost of upgrading your tavern, like what are you doing? You know what I mean? Like it, it doesn't help you, and it's not very relevant. Like just take all can, take all can if you're gonna do this, right? It, it, it's not better. You don't pass that often. You have to pass. Like you're spending one gold to reduce your tavern. So all this, all this does is make your tavern make passing the same as upgrading your tavern but there isn't like that all many things that get crazy i do think for zero gold this is better and you might find some use cases because now instead of you can always pass right like that's the new thing you can always pass instead of directly leveling so you have that freedom so i do think it's better now but i haven't tested this change so i don't know exactly how much better it is but the older one was absolutely one of the worst trinkets so maybe this is better since it costs zero i would love to see a trinket that gives you gold like like not not as the ability but like negative one you know i'd love to see what that does like how that makes me feel about a trinket uh and this is one where i could see that um something like that so now we have the fishy stickers so fishy sticker removed from the greater trinket pool oh okay so they removed greater fishy trinket. I think that's fine. The greater fishy sticker was absolutely uh, very good, but now that you get the the fishy the fish itself, you can just goldenize it, so it's not like a big issue. So I, I think this is a fine change. Me as well. Shaman prayer bees moving from greater to lesser trinket. This is very interesting for me because I play shaman prayer breeds. Like, not a non-zero amount of times. So now it being a lesser trinket is like, hmm, hmm, you know, Cal, if dragons are, like, my leaning composition, this is very good for me. So I'm interested to see it as a lesser. I will say, like, it's harder to be, to know you're playing Cali on turn six than on turn nine. So that, that would be the one downside, but... This is pretty interesting. I do think um, it's fair to make it a lesser. I can see the rationale for making it a lesser trinket. There's just um, a lot of work to make prayer beats work anyway. So compared to like just um, 
get a random minion every turn. Like this, it's basically that kind of thing. A little bit more work. Three goes for it is kind of expensive, but I, I guess it, it. We'll have to see how it goes. So I'm not. I'm not too scared about it. Promo portrait. So it's going from four to three. I've never picked this one because I've just. Um, I just haven't seen it. I don't pick dragons essentially, so I haven't seen it. So I'm I do wonder like so I don't have a big opinion about this one. I do think like double start of turn can be pretty strong, but I haven't really played anyone who's played this trinket in, in my opponent, so maybe people just don't respect it at all. So I'm gonna mostly skip it. Thorn Rose going for Revenge 3, Revenge 4, finally. It was broken. It's still probably going to be very good, but yeah, the Revenge 3 was very crazy, especially with Goose. Just, I, I'm surprised it, uh, it lasted this long, yeah, honestly. It, I guess it because it, uh, it was hidden by Leapers, and now that Leapers are gone, they're seeing, oh my god, Thorn Rose is crazy. So is... Um, so is the beast summon token like those are crazy things so uh, now you're seeing like more beast nerfs because they're they're not being diluted by leapers i think that makes sense uh flag bearer portrait is getting nerfed your sky pirates have six attacks to eight attack that's fine for me i didn't really play this comp saf does but uh he does seems to like it and eight attack is a decent amount so seems like it was over the line Quilography set. It's going from 5 go to 2 go, but instead of 2-1, you're getting 1-1 one, one this game. Eh, I've never been a big holography set fan, so maybe. I do think making it 2 go is, is like more enticing. And if you have no attack, like, you take this if you have no attack scaling. I, I would say it's probably the most important thing to try to get attack scaling, because the difference between 0 attack, or like 1 attack and like 4 attack is massive, so... I think if you've played the early game, you didn't get a Piper, like, you can take this and, and try to make it work. Uh, Promofin Portraits, getting one extra gold, sure. Redeemer Portrait, gaining one extra gold, sure. Like, these are not the biggest thing. I've realized I'm taking a long time for this, uh, is my issue. And then the Surprise Portrait, the element of surprise. I, s I would love to know what the, what the rates are, because... I've played with this a decent amount, and I still don't know what triggers it. Reduces the odds of each outcome by a surprising amount. So maybe like every time you do something, there's a chance to get an elemental surprise. Maybe there's something like that. And it's too good, so they reduce the odds. I mean, that's, that's probably what's going on or something like that. So Definitely an interesting... Shrink it. It's it's pretty strong and it's it's made elementals better. Like surprise portrait. If you're playing duos, it makes elements a lot better because now you can get rock rock and then like here's an element of surprise. Here's another one. Oh, golden rock rock with divine shield. Like so, definitely think this has helped Ellie's a big amount as well as is like it's generically good for like amalgams and whatnot. So many jumping jacks because of this. A uh, minion changes. Papa bear now is a gigantic mama bear. Sure, I mean it's better than before. The the it was so bad before, so maybe this is better. And I guess like you can't really do like ten ten, right? Like I'm down for something crazy, but eight eight is already like pretty good. So yeah, I'm down. I'm down to see if this is better, and then if not, even buff it even higher. But yeah, for now it's fine. Uh, T Master. So yeah, this one sucked. Like, people are so excited for Theothar to come back, and then, like, they play with it, and, like, damn, it sucks. <laughs> I had a golden one and a regular one, and I still, like, it was worse than me playing a different comp. I had, like, so, yeah, I can definitely see um, adjusting this card. So, yeah, they've basically doubled the stats, and maybe that's enough, right? So... It is. I'd be surprised if it's not like that. Doubling the stats is crazy. So, uh, definitely a big, big buff to Theothar. Hummingbird gets nerfed because it was kind of cracked before, right? Like your rest of your combos, your beasts have one attack. I think is reasonable. So yeah, Hummingbird was just kind of crazy. So, um, I'm down to. I'm down for this change. And then they're nerfing Goldrin, which is understandable, honestly, considering. 
how strong it is uh, now that leafers are gone. I think nerfing Godrin is is reasonable. So yeah, not not too surprised about this change overall. I just think uh, it was just really doing too much. Uh, Archie mode is now a tier five. This makes sense. It was very very strong tier four. A lot of people were abusing it. Tier five means it's harder to gold and you can't goldenize it. Right, like I think the difference between tier four and tier five is actually quite massive because the it means you can't goldenize it. And since you were getting spells for free sometimes, like it, it actually matters. Ember Guardian now is being nerfed a little bit to give three three instead of five five. I think that's fine because the divine shield is why you play it, so you're not really you're not really losing the essence of the card. Uh, Felfin is going from tier five to tier four. They have to move a tier four down, a tier five down, and Felfin is the weakest, so this makes sense. Lock Prince, this one is crazy, right? It whenever you gain statue at three plus two to now Divine Shield, so now you have a Murloc Divine Shield. You really never had that before. This is now worth summoning. This is now worth like being your your um. Your Bream, like your new Bream, you can play this, you can play this with Quill Wars. Like, this is actually a massive change. Uh, and might give Murlocs, like, some real advantages, some real vantage points to look out for. So, I'm definitely going to start incorporating Lock Prince in Quill War lobbies and Naga lobbies, stuff like that, just because it, like, Divine Shield on a Murloc is just very good and not something we really had easy access to before so yeah um i'm hopeful for this change hopefully it's not too broken i could see it being too broken to be fair i could definitely see it being too broken but hopefully it's not uh i i'm not i wouldn't be surprised if this goes down like plus two plus one or something like that but yeah definitely a big 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 change uh slippery slider this one was broken let's see what they do it's now a five five uh, but now you only get one tower and spell, yeah, so they're nerfing it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this was probably what was going to happen. <laughs> Sad to see, but but understandable. It, it was just really, really good uh, for, for a lot of comps. Like you would honestly just buy this just to just to use the spellcraft and sell it, and you weren't even sad. Now you have to like consider you like, do I want to keep it or not? So yeah, definitely really really good. Salty looters getting a buff, so its stats were not good enough as a four four as a one one base. So they're buffing it. I think that's fair. Um, a lot of people were like, this is still a bait, so maybe it's less of a bait now. Um, pupil, yeah. This card was fun, but like it never it 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 always felt too slow. Like a random tavern spell isn't that good. Like it's not that good. So having to summon seven for that, it was just it it just felt like so much effort for like a one cost spell, like for plus four attack or something like that. It just felt like a so making it five, I think, is a lot better. So and they also buffed the stats, so. Um, uh, pretty big deal. Maybe we try it now. I mean, we we're trying it before, but maybe we're like try it again now and see how it goes. Claws of the Sun getting buffed. Hmm. Hmm. I really felt like it needed a buff, but okay, I welcome it. M Gift towards the tier five, yes, please, please. Tier six, even this card is so broken. Tier five, I'm okay with. Tier five means that it's a lot harder to pick up, and you actually have to work for it. But yeah, this card is crazy. I don't know why they brought it back. I would pers personally remove it, but tier five is is close. Tier six is too much, right? Like you can't make this a tier six. Yeah, but yeah, definitely, definitely very, very strong. So happy to see it get nerfed a bit. Carmelian going down. Yeah, this card doesn't do anything. I don't, I don't get it personally. I mean, the idea is for this to copy last year or something. But Avenge 5 is so much, and you, you, <sighs> this thing should have Divine Shield, yeah, right, like, wouldn't that just help a lot, if it has Divine Shield, it, it, it might actually get the events to trigger, uh, and then it becomes better, I should actually 
mention that. Like, I feel like that's not a horrible change for this card if it gives you Divine Shield. Uh, then you could like even then you have like more options. You can like play in the front, even like there there's I, I I would be down for that. The only issue with this having Divine Shield is if um if if you summon it right like with um mount or any of those type of cards then it comes back with golden bro prox with divine shield and then it's kind of strong so that would be like my one issue but but yeah right now i don't love this card i just don't think it fit, it solves any like goals yeah the yeah i mean the the golden issues would be the and and like it being resummoned is is my one issue because then you could re, you could reborn this and then it's actually like a really good tempo card. Mm. I don't know. I have to workshop it. I think I'm not sure divine shield is the answer now that I think about it. But yeah, like right now I'm not I'm not sold on the card just because it, it can just get sniped and die and, and it feels pretty bad. Uh, other changes, so top shelf Dark Moon Prize now discovers a minion from a tier higher. Uh, okay. Um, instead of always a tier 6 minion, but won't always get a, a tier 7 minion on tier 7 unless they are generally the game. And Galakron's Greed uh, have been updated to no longer say discover. Okay. My dual partner is gonna hate this change. By the way, this is the only reason he picks this trink the trinket. Um, so he's not gonna be happy about that change. But I'm gonna be happy about it because it means he doesn't pick that trinket. I don't like that trinket that much. So, um, yeah, like that was the main reason for him to take it because then you get a tier six minion super early in the game. So now, now it doesn't do that. So it's gonna be a lot worse. So. Yeah. Overall, these are, like, decent changes. I didn't really have any, like, expectations going in. I still feel like I need to learn the meta to really have an opinion about uh, what is necessarily good or bad. But these are pretty cool changes, and we'll see how it goes. So, yeah, pretty long one. Looking through some of the changes. Hope you guys enjoy it. Take care of yourselves. Let me know your thoughts on the... Um... The constant uploads and the format and 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 what else and I'll see you guys later. Take care of yourselves. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Bye. -bye.